श्री तत्कट सतपति सर नमस्कार सर आई राइज टू स्पीक ऑन दिस आर्बिट्रेशन एंड कंसिलियेशन अमेंडमेंट बिल 2015 सर एज यू नो इट इज अ वेल एस्टेब्लिश्ड फैक्ट दैट अनफॉर्चुनेटली बोथ the central government and the state governments all st most state governments invariably lose cases when it comes to arbitration and it is also a fact that for the past 15 years or so maybe a little longer from 92 onwards when that so called liberalization took place our legal system our government has more or less been uh, run from the shadows by foreign consultants and mega indian corporates it's true that arbitration and conciliation are both necessary components for creating a proper environment for conducting business between any two parties but this also gives me a peep into the governance angle vis a vis the uh, legal side of this country sir if the government can so bravely go ahead and pass a bill an amendment bill stating that uh, a certain time frame is set by which time this a particular arbitration has to be completed why can't the honorable minister think that similar time frame should be set for civil and criminal cases of different magnitudes maybe you can have different timings a murder case could take longer or or shorter a rape case could take even shorter time and uh, uh, other cases could take slightly longer but it is not only justice delayed is justice denied that is sir it's too oft repeated and it makes no sense the other part that is actually taking place in this country is people are losing faith in our judicial system because they feel that there is no justice it never comes so when it comes also it has no significance all these plethora of slew of uh, uh, regulations that is being brought into parliament yesterday there was that commercial uh, courts bill sir as you are aware today this arbitration and conciliation amendment bill all this shows the government's eagerness for strengthening the mindset of ease of doing business and this bill professes to create an alternative dispute resolution mechanism here the assumption is that the arbitrator will be unbiased it's in section 12 and it is up to the magnanimity of the arbitrator to be honest or not and come out clean with her or his connections with either of the concerned parties government here should also consider about setting up an institute like you have a training institute for policemen ips uh, academy or the ias all that you can have a training institute where you create a bunch of arbitrators who are trained professionally not take retired people because it's time we our mindset moved beyond retired people uh, we should employ younger people who can give put in longer hours give them proper salaries let them uh, you know check their background and train them to be arbitrators i will give an example of how arbitration takes place currently sir in the kishna godavari basin gas field the bid was put up in 1999 interestingly ongc and reliance were two bidders ril and both of them took 10 years from 1999 when they got the bid they took 10 years to uh, start work in 2009 they started work ongc which is a government company funded by the taxpayers money and supposed to be doing good for the country later in 2013 2013 claimed reliance had siphoned off 11000 crores of rupees of gas from its uh, ongc's blocks that means sir they had dug in made a pipe and taken siphon of gas from ongc's blocks the interesting thing is i am happy 
that my colleagues are interested that Reliance should be investigated. I am, for one, I have always been saying that our mega corporates have not become mega by inventing something. They are not a Microsoft, they are not an Apple, they are not a Ford. They have become rich, super rich, and maybe one of the richest in the country these people are today, simply by looting the nas national resources. Our coal, our petroleum, our gas, our land, these people have managed to corner it through bureaucratic grip, through bureaucratic strength, and they have become rich. We have yet to see a company, an Indian company, make a mark in the world theater by creating something. We haven't seen that as yet. Sir, Reliance, to go back to Kishna Godavari basic thing, Reliance did not even bother to reply. Then the uh, Directorate General of Hydrocarbon set up a, a study, independent study, by an US-based consultant, D. Goyler and McNaughton. And this, uh, this consultant submitted that ONGC's claims were valid. ONGC's claims were true. ONGC filed a case in Delhi High Court in May 2015, this year, against RIL. RIL is already contesting three arbitration suits in connection with its KG Basin operations. Just as RIL <coughs> ignores the national interest, similarly, sir, it is very surprising, Vodafone, I am not sitting here and judging whether Vodafone is right or wrong. That is another issue. But Vodafone has been slapped with an income, a huge income tax uh, claim by the Government of India by the revenue, uh, by the Ministry of Finance. It is through a process of law. And who has passed that law? This very house, these honorable members have passed that law. Basing on that law, taking strength from that law, Vodafone was slapped with an income tax uh, amount to be paid. Unfortunately, sir, our system is such that Vodafone has not even bothered to go on appeal and it has not asked for an arbitration. Yet, it is there all over this country and the government sits quiet. We do not have the teeth to implement our own government orders. You have brought in an amendment to section 25A saying that this act will not be retrospective. Sir, when the judges' pension and salary bill could be retrospective, why not take this back also retrospective with retrospective effect so that ONGC and Reliance case could be brought under this act and let it be adjudicated as early as possible within 18 months and let the people of this country get some justice sometime. Let us be fair to them. We have, uh, sir, we have very big luminaries, legal luminaries uh, in this government who we know are going through bad times, of course. I'm not mentioning DDCA, that's not my concern. Uh, uh, and, and the earlier government also, you were there in the earlier house also, you have seen how those same lawyers managed to destroy and pull down that government and destroy the country in the process. So we know the acumen and the ability of our lawyers. They are great people. Nobody can challenge their intelligence. But as far as matters of governance goes, I do not think or I do not agree that they are actually good at it. This section 24 says that there will be hearings on a daily basis without adjournments. I mentioned that point that if you can actually legislate like this and complete the cases within a specific time, please consider whether it can be done for other cases also. I would, uh, I would like to give one small example, sir. When we have this law in force, let us say, suppose a company like Adani. It goes for an arbitration with an arbitration case to the Orissa High Court. It, it hasn't gone. I'm just giving an example. And I do not know who Adani is. But suppose it goes to the Orissa High Court and uh, asks for an arbitration. And the High Court sets, sets up an arbitration uh, uh, desk or whatever, court. And they file a case regarding a port that they own in the state. 
let us assume it could be chennai sir they might one day you will be happy or you will be surprised to note that the chennai port also belongs to adani it is not impossible sir so i don't know it could be uh, it could be nishikant ji also so like sir like they have placed an adani agent and i am uh, i i am not saying nishikant dubey ji is present in the house so i can take his name because now i am scared i am looking around i am seeing whoever is present i can take their names only otherwise it seems you cannot take the name of uh, let us say john f kennedy because he is not present in the house how do we know sir his ghost might be here anyway so sir arbitration arbitration i am coming back sir i'll finish quickly sir uh, like they have placed this adani agent in the paradi port trust now and the gentleman is busy damaging the port and making it grind to a halt they are in the process of completely destroying paradi port so when you can do that is it possible that in this arbitration thing the government will be able unless you have a a professional team of arbitrators is it possible that the government will set up arbitrators who will seem suitable to say mukesh ji no he is not in the house so uh, mukesh i am talking about that hindi film singer sir uh, or or somebody like that is it possible that there can be spot fixing or match fixing i would like a clarity uh, of um, you know of vision in this uh, uh, in this case and uh, i would also request at the end sir i am winding up point please uh, have you have you worked out any process for the common citizen owning a small business establishment and who gets involved in a litigation of a smaller amount to get justice faster or will this only be a country of the, corporates otherwise ease of doing multi billion dollar business may become our way. national slogan instead of satyam eva jayate namaskar thank you sir thank you